What's up? Welcome back for some more Animal Crossing. Today is July 1st, so you know what that means. New bugs, new fish. I'm so ready. The summer update is in two days. I'm so excited. Today, I decided to just focus on the bugs. It is what we call beetle season in Animal Crossing. So there's going to be a lot of bugs on trees. I'm really bad at catching them as you'll see in this video. But yeah, it was just fun to see like different kinds of bugs come to the game and just like, I don't know, check out what those are all about. But yeah, right now it is just a small countdown until the new update where we can go swimming. Like I literally like mind blown that we can go swimming in this game. I'm I'm so ready. I'm so ready for it. I'm excited. But yeah, that's all for me. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Let me know that you want to see more videos like this. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I do post every single day. And that's all for me. I'll see you in the video. Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Right now it is 10 a.m. on Wednesday, July 1st. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was so caught up in the new update that's coming. I totally forgot that on July 1st, like every new month, there's gonna be new bugs and new fish. So like, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Either new bugs or new fish. Probably new bugs, cause I like the bugs a lot. This is the first time that I'm recording that is not super early in the morning. So we definitely have time to do some designer of the day. I'm really excited. Okay, so. Wow, she has a lot of designs. That's how you know she's real good. Oh, wow, she has a lot of these dresses. So it's this dreamy dress that she has. I, I only saw the green and the red, but I guess she has it in black, white, purple. I wonder if there's any more. A light blue. That's beautiful. And um, she's also like super inclusive with her skin colors. So if you want to do this you at any skin color, um, that's really awesome. I... I'm honestly gonna try to like look for creators who do do that. Um, I just know myself as like a medium skin tone. There's only like pale white. It's like, you can't really do that. So from now on, I'm gonna really make sure to like look at the creators beforehand just so I can make sure that they have a, such an inclusive line. Wow, it's like a whole fashion show over here. So yeah, this is Lucy from Afterglow and this is their creator code if you wanna check her out. They're very cute. I love the designs. Okay, wow. Looking fierce as always. Okay, so today I strictly want to focus on the new bugs. I seen that there's a couple that are going to be here all day or at least like from like 4 a.m. to like 9 p.m. So I'm really excited to catch those guys. I just got to get rid of a couple things. Hey, let's me grab my net and here we go. Um, I did see that a lot of the new bugs will be beetles, so they'll be on trees mostly. That's cool. Nope, none. Okay. Who cool hell? This is going swimmingly. What the frick is that? Why is it moving like that? It ain't even using its legs. Hello? Alright, we got our first new July beetle, I believe. An earth boring dung beetle. It's not boring at all. Yeah, it's kind of beautiful, actually. Cool. So I didn't know that the beetles just kind of vibe around on the ground. I thought they were strictly trees. Hmm. I wish I could see my or my orchard better. I just know that like I can barely see anything when it comes to my orchard. When it comes to the trees, at least. Like, look, you can't even see past the very first tree. You'd have to go like this for every layer at every point. And then by the time you get there, you're gonna scare away the beetles. So that's useless. Is that, is that a new type of cricket? I feel like it's a new type of cricket. I feel like that is a cricket, like an actual cricket. Yes, I caught a grasshopper. They're a grass act. Okay, yeah, no, the grasshopper is new. I was looking at that and I was like, that looks so like a, that's a weird long locust, it's very brown. Really, this is just a good reason to have um, more trees. I need more trees around that are not just like in my orchard. <laughs> Look, more grasshoppers. I guess they replaced the long locust. So I don't see a single long locust. Is that a new guy? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not good at catching bugs on trees. I never have been. I have to kind of like make sure that I'm a good distance away and then like catch it like that. Okay, so this is a robust cicada. It does seem pretty lively. I don't know if that's a new bug or not. I think that might have been last week. I'm just not gonna lie, like not a not a tree catcher type of gal. A gal. You're trying to scare these bugs away. Like, get out of here. I wanna spawn the new bug. 
No! Ah, oh, see? I'm bad at that. I didn't even see that guy. Okay, I need to get away from the trees, scare away as many bugs as possible, and then just go back to the trees. That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it today. I'm going to know, like, the names of these bugs at the back of my hand, and then, like, see them in real life and be like, you exist? Harry, right, come on, come on, come on. Like, oh, no, I missed. Ah, uh, see, I'm too good at it. I just can't miss. <laughs> Where's Flick when you need him? Get rid of these bugs for me. All right, let's try to go back. We'll see if we catch that guy. I gotta be wary of where, I gotta be wary of where the trees are. I'm I'm bad at tree, spatial tree awareness. Okay, there he is. There he is. Hello. Is that the same thing? Yes, I caught a giant, oh, a giant cicada. Cicada? I guess it's pretty big. A robust cicada and then a giant cicada. If I just miss them in June, at least I know that Blathers is gonna get a whole whack of bugs and he's gonna hate it. I mean, I'm just using the same logic that people used in the very beginning to get um, tarantulas where they would have to scare off all the bugs. Ugh, crap, I didn't mean to catch that. They would have to scare off all the bugs or catch them, I guess, so that the map would spawn tarantulas. Ooh, an ugly ass. Did I not catch that? I actually want to catch that. Oh, shoot. Swap it. We're gonna... We're gonna... Wait. We're gonna release. Bye, puffer fish. Come on. Something new. Give me something new. Come on, let me... Oops, let me accidentally not catch you. Whoop. Oh well, I mean, in the meantime, we can give what we do have, like what we do have that is new to Blathers. So let's do that. Let's give what we have to Blathers. I want to give it to him one by one so we can torture him with all the new bugs that we found. <laughs> He's going to hate it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to give him the earth dung beetle first. An earth, I'm sorry, an earth boring dung beetle. <laughs> I guess like to see him suffer, but I won't, I won't, I won't like torture him or anything. Yes, let's make another donation. I like how even if they're all bugs, he's just like splendid. Thank you so much. No, I'm really excited to see what July has to bring, especially for this new update that's coming in two days. I'm hella excited. I hope you guys are excited. Um, I'm ready. My body is ready. I will be posting the new update the day that it comes out. I'm going to be home a lot sooner than I thought. So keep an eye out for that for me. I'm going to be covering as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. I hope that you maybe also forgot that July is a thing and now you're like pleasantly surprised. Oh my gosh. As I'm doing my outro. Hello, new bug what no guys i'm so bad i'm literally so bad at tree bugs i'm so bad at them my guy i was two feet away from you oh my god anyway i hope you enjoy the new bugs um but yes it is beetle season so definitely make sure that you practice your tree catching abilities i definitely obviously have to practice up on mine um but yeah, this is gonna be it for today and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.